Hello everyone, I am the white and Christian version of Ariana Grande. I don't know if that's appropriate or not. I'm Nick Rigdon, and today I'm going to be discussing a topic of Hollywood. I feel like Hollywood is dying. I, I feel like the, the movies are dying. Old Hollywood is definitely old and dead. Um, we just have recreations. We don't have any more original ideas. For example, Ghostbusters 2016. It pretty much has gone from entertaining everyone of every demographic to only entertaining a certain demographic now. So let me just go into, number one, what led up to what is currently going on. Number two, what I am seeing in Hollywood and the rumors that I'm hearing out of Hollywood. And number three, my predictions on what is going to happen in Hollywood. Still the TV. We're all just like big fans of Lady Gaga and Madonna. But little do you know that these are soulless people that um, prey on kids. Now, I know that's a big accusation. I know that's a huge one. And I, I don't, I, I'm not Jeffree Star. I don't throw around sexual predator, you know, on, on the lights, okay? You'd have to have some type of money dispatches and, and uh, visits to a certain island or getting on a certain plane, you know, to really make me think that, oh, you hang around these people, something ain't right. There's a list of people in Hollywood, and kind of like Hollywood celebrities, or on Jeffrey Epstein's flight logs. And do you all know who Stephanie Germanata is? It's Lady Gaga. Yeah, big surprise there. Now, I believe this actually starts way earlier before Hollywood, even kind of before human civilization. Sorry, I'm religious and I think of everything in a religious context because that's kind of like what you do when you become <laughs> religious. If you're not religious but you're spiritual, um, then just say that in, in the very beginning there were good and evil and uh, pretty much evil has had a reign over earth for a long time. The good kind of lets evil do its thing because I, <laughs> it just it just lets it. Okay, so I believe that this kind of started a long time ago where people started. It was too hard to get uh, all the rewards and all the benefits uh, out of hard work because it was it took too long, I guess. So people just started cheating the system. Now let me explain how they started cheating the system back then. Then I'm gonna kind of bring it back to help. Yes, this is one of those conspiracy theories where it's like, oh, well, Illuminati. But I think the Illuminati has used the powers of evil to largely uh, gain them money, power, and access to almost anything. If people want to heads up in that game, you have to play the game. You have to incriminate yourself. That way, whatever they tell you, you will do because they're not going to lose power over someone who's a loose cannon. Because you mess with drama channels! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, if you start becoming a loose cannon, then you start, uh, you know, getting the Kanye West treatment, which is, you're insane, you're insane, no one wants to listen to you, you like Trump, blah 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 blah, you're... The people who are trying to control the societal agenda, I guess, if you want to call it that. The main people who are in charge of large conglomerates of banks and Rothschilds and the Rockefellers and all of them, they give power and money to people that they can control because they, they have blackmail on these people. So the whole Jeffrey Epstein case, Jeffrey Epstein was one of those uh, realtor people who was a playboy. He uh, went around uh, earning, earning riches, apparently stole some male designers like Fortune. He was, he was a scandal. He was, uh, he was like, um, 
It was like Jeffree Star, before Jeffree Star was ever Jeffree Star. Can we say that? Oh, he, he knew upper echelon people, people in control of the free free. And I think his role was kind of to uh, collect blackmail on certain people. Now, what I think is that once you reach a certain level of popularity, echelon of fame or nor nor notoriety, uh, I believe that you actually now have to do something bad. Now, I think that Jeffrey Epstein was kind of the connector to all of that. I believe, and I'm going to kind of be cryptic here because YouTube guidelines and things like that, but I believe the Free Free used Jeffrey Epstein and his islands and his fame and his fortunes to be a blackmailer, to get some of these celebrities to do very incriminating, like, I'm talking disgusting, nasty things, to gain their upper echelon of elitism. That's inappropriate. I raised you better than that. I said I had to fight you on the web webcam, girls. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight you on the webcam, girls. How is Jeffrey Epstein currently involved in uh, Hollywood? Well, Hollywood is a cesspool of the Rebri, and it pretty much dictates it pretty much dictates societal agenda. It sets trends, it uses fashion. I believe that a lot of people, if they want to get up to the upper echelons and remain in security for a long time with a lot of money, then you have to do something incriminating. Once you have been blackmailed and you're part of this elitist echelon, I think that you enjoy the benefits of uh, earning up to or having a net worth up to like 30 million uh, or close to billion, I don't know, on just having people admire you for the rest of your life because this blackmail is going to be hidden as long as you remain in the public eye and do exactly as they tell you to do and push the agenda that they tell you to push. Yes, you're going to you're going to be fine. Uncle Sam finally, finally has has noticed that a lot of these politicians and a lot of these celebrities are flying on a certain plane and going with a certain person who has a certain tendency to do certain bad things. When we got Jeffrey Epstein, he apparently killed himself. And everybody knows it was Hillary Clinton. But we now have his accomplice, just just Lane, just Lane Maxwell. Uh, who is just as much of a dirtbag as Jeffrey Epstein. So this whole wave of names and uh, incriminating evidence that is soon to come out is not only going to shake uh, people's opinions of certain characters in the game. For example, Kevin Spacey, Madonna, Beyonce, Lady Gaga, Katy Perry, Anderson Cooper, Kath Kathy Griffin... I just believe that a lot of people are going to be shocked by the revelation that has soon come to Hollywood and kind of like pop culture itself. Uh, the whole realization that, you know, your artist is, uh, has done terrible things or um, has been complicit. Uh, but I believe we're currently watching a movie of Hollywood's demise. You got all this YouTube drama, you got all this, this drama with celebrities coming out with that stupid song what was it imagine that then imagine song and then i apologize i take responsibility i take responsibility i take like give us one more one more one more strike one more strike you idiots and then you're out of here Anyway, guys, that was my video on my uh, prediction of what has happened in the past, how Hollywood has risen to a nexus of fame and power and greed and evil, and how it will be kind of dismantled using this Jeffrey Epstein case with uh, just Lane Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein and all of the celebrities and politicians involved. And a lot of people are going to be shocked around the world uh, and how these people are going to be behind bars. What does this mean for future pop culture? I'm just, I'm just going to say this. I want to be a part of the next pop culture. 
only if it's for Jesus, <laughs> or only if it's American or good or like holistic, I guess. I, I have hope for the future of entertainment for the masses. I believe that we need to go back to teaching morals, we need to go back to teaching uh, love for each other and what makes us special and different but also unique and in uh, and, and the next uh, we're all God's children I guess but yeah my name is Nick Rigdon and thank you for watching this video on the wave or I... the ho no I'm trying to think of a title for this I'll come up with it and like the title bye People are all racist, spraying on buildings, talking about Black Lives Matter. That ain't even us. We did. We did. If, if we wanted you to do it, we would have.